Hey, what's up, guys? Cooksy back here. Uh, and that's not his sec. Like, it was funny because I was on the show with Johnny last week, and he did that. And I'm like, that's not going third person when you introduce yourself and say your name. So I'm Cooksy, and I'm not talking in third person. <laughs> Anyway, before we get into this today, I want to talk about Bobby Piazza. Bobby Piazza has been shut down by Feld. Uh, yeah, kind of canceled. It's complete crap. And if you'll watch, the media outlets are siding with Feld because that's what they do. They squash the little guys in this situation. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I think, and we'll go from there. But before we do that, EBC brakes. Uh, check them out. Brake pads, rotors, clutches. Good stuff, good quality product. And I wanna give a shout out to James. What's up, brother, how you doing? Um, complete Racing Solutions. You guys know Coach Rob. Coach Rob's the man. Coach Rob knows everything there is to know, or at least as much as I know that there is to know about training. He's got programs for everybody. They start at $22 a month and go up from there. So how, depending on how, how serious you take your fitness, check it out. Uh, Epic Garage Designs. Epic Garage Designs has floors, racks, cabinets, you want to look factory? Check out Epic Garage Designs. They have, they have totes, you name it, anything. If there's a garage solution, Epic has it. And then I got a new sponsor, guys. If you're buying a house or renting a house or selling a house in the Las Vegas or Henderson area, hit up my friend Leanne Nestor. She's, a, she's with Brookshire and Hathaway, an amazing real estate agent, and she's partnered up with me on this, and yeah. Rent, buy, or sell through Leanne Nestor. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. Okay, guys, this whole Bobby Piazza thing is disgusting to me on multiple levels. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to walk you through these different levels. First off, these privateers are so underpaid, it's ridiculous. There's so much money being made at these events, but TV contracts, sponsors, Entry fees. Every aspect of this circus generates money for Feld. Feld is doing very well. They deserve to do well. They work really hard. What they don't deserve is credit for taking care of the promoter, like the, the, their performers. These privateers are the show. I don't care what people say. People, yes, people do go to see Eli Tomac, but if you just have 10 guys out there, it's lame, nobody wants that. Those privateers bring in a lot more than Phil thinks they do. These are some of the best riders in the world. I mean, if you go to take any of these guys that can make a night show, take them to your local track and they will smoke damn near everybody. They are, and you'll, you'll watch them ride by themselves and think, how can anyone ever go faster? Yes, there's different levels to this, but these guys are literally living their dreams out there for peanuts, peanuts. Just know when you go through the fast food at McDonald's, those guys make more money than most motocrossers. Not that that's a bad paying job, but I'm just saying like, pick any sort of low paying job, minimum wage job, they're making more profit than most of those guys in racing supercross. Yes, when you get up to where you can consistently make main events, you can make some good profit and get some sponsors, but guys like Bobby living out of his van, just living the dream. Yes, nobody's forcing them to do that, but does it mean it's okay to just treat them like crap and, and just have felled security guards bossing them around, harassing their, you know, their friends and family and just telling them they suck and that's why they're parked over here. Uh, next thing you know, he's saying, oh, if you're any good at riding, you wouldn't be on this side of the pit. Uh, you should just give up. You suck. You're no good. This and that. Those things that this guy said to Bobby Piazza are so far out of line, it's ridiculous. This meathead steroid dumbass needs to go. If Feld doesn't get rid of him, it gives you an idea of how little they think they do not care about their show. And it, it, to me, it's almost like they want them to feel, they want the privateers to feel like crap, to feel fortunate they're even able to be a part of it, when in reality, they are it. Um, a lot of us come there to see the entire show, not just the Eli Tomax. I want to see the Bobby Piazza story. Can he get from a van to a support team to a factory team? We've seen it happen. That's the, that's the Weston Pike story. Um, it's fun to watch. It's fun to cheer for. And if you don't believe me, look how many people are giving Bobby Piazza money. 
You think they're giving him money because they want to rev his bike? Yeah, it's kind of cool to rev the bike, but it's more about just supporting Bobby Piazza, supporting the dream, supporting the dream that we want to live and going through them. Um, and, that's, and that's what it's about. And for him to find a unique way to get himself to the races is awesome. And then for them to shut it down. So he was revving the bike outside of the pits. Yes. Walking my bike back to my tent, throw it up on a stand, next thing you know. I think they asked him to move out of the pits. No problem. That may be annoying to rev the bike. I, pro I personally, I don't know that I'd let people rev a bike that I'm going to go race Supercross on. You can lose your life in Supercross. You can have your life completely altered if something goes wrong. I don't think I, I want people revving it all day long. But that's Bobby's choice. Bobby's been hurt. He understands. If that's his choice, he gets to do that. Now, he moved outside of the pits away. They still didn't want it. Like that, that, that's where I have a problem with it. It's not about you know, the sound. If it was about the sound, I can kind of understand, hey, let's, let's, there's, let's find a common ground. Let's move you to a spot where it's not going to annoy people. No problem. Uh, people start bikes all day long. And yeah, if you want to rev it over there, perfect. If you not, don't want to rev it right next to people, that I understand too. Um, but the way this is handled has been complete garbage for this, this meathead to go over there. And, and th this meathead has a history. This John guy has harassed not just Bobby, but other privateers. It was 30 degrees out. I'm in the pits with my rental car. I ship my bike to the track. John sees me in the car, me and Morgan sitting in the car, come storming over. This car's not allowed to be in the pits. I'm a tow it out of here, get it out of here. I'm um, like, dude, it's 30 degrees out. This is all I have. I only have my bike, my stand and my gear bag with me. Like, what do you want me to sit on the ground next to my bike? Like, I'm just trying to stay warm in between practices when I go out and come back <clears throat> to race. You know, it's 30 degrees, it's freezing. And arguing, arguing, arguing. And finally he goes away day goes on next thing you know i hear from another rider john towed my car out he's not telling me where it's at um i had to pay 400 dollars. not me but another rider had to pay 400 dollars to get their their car out of the tow and dude list goes on and on. this is a pattern of behavior a bullying he's a bully so yeah if you don't if this guy's continue to have his job felled um yeah well yeah, it's garbage, um, but we'll see what happens. And then for Pulpum X and Steve Mathis to essentially belittle, uh, first off, he starts by calling him Bobby Pizza. Now, that's not the worst insult in the world, but it's disrespectful. It's letting Bobby know he doesn't matter. That's what this guy does. He tries to make people whatever he can do to lower you to where he's above you. That's what he does. And by Calling a guy Bobby Pizza, it's, that's kind of an insult. But it's not really an insult, so it's one of those passive-aggressive Canadian insults. Sorry, Canadians, but I just say that because sometimes you guys do that. You have those passive-aggressive insults where you walk away going, did he insult me or not? Um, it is what it is. Uh, love you, Canadians, uh, except for that one. Um, Steve Mathis is a douche, and I've said that. I think I've said that multiple times. Let me explain to you why he's taking the side of Feld. Right now... He's getting left in the dust. His buddies, Jace, Jason Thomas and Jason Wygant, are crushing it. They're both working for Feld. They're both calling races on TV. They are succeeding. They are leaving him in the dust. They were all three a team. They kind of all got their, you know, they, they did stuff together. They still do stuff together. Two are succeeding, one is not. And that's not to say he's not succeeding. He's doing really well. He's just getting left in the dust by those two. But his ego's hurting him. He wants to be a part of that so bad. So this is an opportunity for him to side with Feld and be a good guy again, because he's taken the line for the longest time, that, like I have, which is the true line, that Feld does not care. They're about their bottom line, which is fine. They're a business. But you pay the help. If you pay the help, you pay your employees, they, they, they work better. Um, so it's, it's incredibly frustrating. Um, I'm really disappointed in Feld, not that that's a shocker. Uh, I'm really disappointed in some of the other media outlets and how they're treating Bobby Piazza and siding with Feld because they're afraid they don't get to, to lose their press passes or not be given jobs. Like, that's a real threat. Um, not one that scares me. Obviously, I don't care. I'm on the outs. Um, 
but it's a piece of crap move. And you know what? We got to support Bobby Piazza on this, and we got to get that John guy out of there. And there's, also, there's some things we need to fix about Supercross. If I'm on the level of Bobby Piazza, Josh Greco, and a lot of these guys who are amazing riders, they're so good, but they don't, are they going to get to that highest level? I don't know. Probably the odds are stacked against them, but that doesn't mean they don't have every right to pursue their dream um, and, and not be treated like shit on the way. So, yeah, if I'm these guys, I'd probably go support Arena Cross until the season's over, and then, and then I'll go race some Supercross, but... I'm gonna focus on a series that's built by riders, for riders, and, and can actually allow me to live my dream and make a living, and, and actually treat me with some respect. And that's, that's the biggest thing, is there's been such a lack of respect towards Bobby Piazza and many of these other privateers by this Feld employee. And people can say, oh, it's not Feld, it's not the top. No, they employ this guy. If they employ this guy, he's them. If you're gonna hire a guy from Feld, this is not a stadium guy. This is not some stadium meathead that works one round every year. This is a guy that travels with the series. He knows these riders and still disrespects them. It's disgusting. So anyway, guys, that's it for my rant. I'm going to try and get with Bobby today. I've talked to him. I know he's sick and tired of talking about this. But what I want to do is just kind of introduce you guys to a little bit about who Bobby is. Um, yes, we all know about this incident. And I've just talked you know, at nauseum about this. But I want to let you know who he is, how he's got this dream, why he's trying to do it, how he lives out of his van. It's a great story. So. I want to tell you who he is as a person. Um, he's not just some guy revving his bike. This is a guy living his dream. So uh, hopefully I'll have that up tomorrow or uh, the day after. So anyway, guys, thank you. And uh, yeah, support Bobby Piazza.